What's going on guys? It's y'all way today back at it again with another video And before I get started, I just want to say guys the clan is full at the moment So anybody that's been sending me a message trying to join I'm sorry, but it's full just at this moment things may change in the future depending on how this first tournament goes guys But things may change and you may still be able to get in so stick in there with me Also want to thank all my new subscribers and the people commenting in the videos And I try to get back to every comment I can and any message I can guys I don't want to think any anybody to think I'm ignoring them. I try to get back to all those messages, but today Hey guys, we're going to be making a video on every way that I know to get gold on this game so far. You know, I come up with a new way every couple of days or so, but so far I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys everything that I know, and even the newest way. The newest way that I've found out is the selling fuel, guys, because fuel prices, if you haven't checked the market yet, guys, fuel prices are insane right now. It's like 60 gold for 100 fuel. So what you want to do, guys, you want to click, put a fuel plus tank and a regular, a regular fuel tank on your vehicle. No stack, bringing you 15 fuel per match. I know it used to be 25 and all that, and it's still not as good, but guys, if you stick them two together, you're still getting 15, so it's not bad and it adds up over time you get experience you get fuel you sell the fuel guys and eventually if we do this and keep selling fuel like that we'll bring the prices down to the stock market back to regular fuel prices another way guys of course is the market everybody knows that if, who's ever watched any of my recent videos knows about the market you know just buying stuff for cheaper and selling it for more expensive to try to make a little bit of money i'm just gonna go ahead and hurry past that because i've made so many videos on it another way guys is if you go out here the best way to level up, in my opinion, or get anything, guys, like any scrap you need is through the brawls because the brawls give you a ridiculous amount of scrap, scrap guys. I'm talking about like 120 to 150 scrap every game, and they also record you with the, uh, reward you with these little loot crates. I'm sorry I'm doing this all raw and live for you guys. So if I ever stutter or anything, I'm sorry. Just know that I'm recording all live at every time, so I'm trying to do this the best I can. But yeah, guys, the brawls are the best way to get EXP in this game, reputation, and to, and to get scrap. I'm telling you guys, if you try to level up doing missions, you're not going to go anywhere close to what you would do if you did brawls because they give you so much more and you can get that scrap anyway is what i'm saying you get the scrap from that and you can either make them weapons with that scrap and sell them in the stock market or you can sell your scrap because scrap's been going pretty high lately it's been fluctuating a lot but it's been recently it's been pretty high another way is if you're doing battles of course and you want to do get the get the wires wires sell pretty decently they're always selling they're a quick sell and uh yeah it's real it's a really easy way to do it um, another way in the market, nobody, not a lot of people know about this, but you can buy and sell dyes quite often. They go, they buy and sell pretty quickly, and you can make a quick buck off that, guys. Um, with that um, fuel tank and stuff, though, guys, it does, if you put both them fuel tanks on there, it is an extra 300 PS, the fuel tanks I was talking about and everything. But, guys, I'm telling you, like, um, also, any if y'all haven't seen any of my other videos for raids, you always want to wait. Save your fuel, guys. And this is my own opinion. People can hate me for saying this or not. But you want to wait until a cargo race is going on in the hard raid. Because hard raids, depending on how well you do, reward you with at least 51 copper. I got all the way up to 53 the other day when I did good in one. And they're very easy if you get a cargo race. You just have to have a decently armored car. And you go in there, put a light engine on, and go capture all them cargoes before time runs out. And it's very, very easy, guys. I'm not telling you. And on top of that, you get 50 copper. You get the tickets on the side. You get good EXP or, or good good reputation or whatever it's called, and you and you can sell the copper or like I said, make weapons with it and sell them to the black market. Let's see any other any other ways I can think of, guys. Uh, another way I did one time, guys. I don't know. You, you might have to check this every every now and then, but I once sold those those coupons right there. I got them when they were below ten dollars, and I ended up getting 2,000 of those for under 2,000 gold, and I went and sold that chest that I got with those for 2,800 gold, guys. I made a quick 800 gold profit. But like I said, guys, anytime you're checking the market, just check throughout the day. I promise you all day, every day, there's stuff that still you can make a lot of money on. You just got to check frequently because it just depends on what people are buying the most at the time and what people are you know, wanting the most. It's all about supply and demand on here, guys. You just got to check at the right times. Um, Yeah, guys, but... Like I said, I'm sorry if I haven't been responding to anybody's messages. I've been trying to do what I've been trying to do and trying to get back to as many people as I can. I like my uh, my fans to know that I love you guys and I appreciate everything you guys do for me. You don't understand. Every subscriber I get, I appreciate it more than you know. And a lot of guys, I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but these seasonal challenges, guys, if you're up to where you can do hard raids, some of these seasonal challenges can be very good and... Pretty, I can get. I've got one done in a day so far. But all you got to do is do these pretty easy little missions for like um for hard raids most of the time. 
And once you get all of them, you get this Pathfinder's crate. And you can either open that crate and get you a little legendary item or whatever they're called. I know I messed up yesterday. I just I stick to purple for legendary because other games in the past, purple was always legendary to me. But yeah, you guys, you can either sell this crate for a lot of gold, and I'm talking about a lot, or you can just you know chance it and hopefully get something good. But I hardly ever chance it with these crates, except for when I'm doing a crate opening video, and I hope to do a lot more of those guys. Let's see, any other ways I can think of to get gold? Let's see real quick. Pretty much the copper grind, guys. The air grind, the market. Just grind as much materials as you can. Make them weapons. Do what you can with what you have and start in the market. I know I say that so many times, but just once you get a little bit of gold, you can always start in the market and go up slowly from there. And while you're doing that, go get some top, get some water or get some fuel sell that fuel because like i said guys fuels at a ridiculous amount right now and if you guys really do appreciate me uploading these videos and think i'm doing good on YouTube, i really appreciate that guys it gives me more motivation than you'll ever know and i'm trying to keep doing this I'm, this is a dream for me one day maybe make it up there on youtube and you guys are really helping me support that i just want to say thank i can't say thank you enough guys just from how fast everything's going i appreciate everything you guys do for me and if you guys can just please subscribe and keep liking these videos and you know, hopefully one day we'll make it, guys. And I'll be shouting you guys out the whole way. And, guys, tomorrow or the next day I'm going to be making a new video on how to live the fastest. So stick in there that one. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Once again, thank you guys so much.